like everybody was like, oh, you had 15 plus tackles for the first time. I was like, yeah, that's good. But like Coach Kanazi was saying, can you do it another game? Can you keep going over and over again? Yeah, that was one game. But I didn't show that I can do it over and over again. You know, be more consistent. Like, be oh, he got around about every time, like stuff like that. What'd you learn about yourself in that position and being in that position last week? I, I learned a lot. I learned a lot. I learned, like, okay, like, I can pick it up quick. Like, I can go out there and, like, they trust me of giving defense and that people, like, rely on me. Like, I learned that a lot. Now, if you look at Atlanta, you know, they're going to want you to do the same again and, and lead the defense. What do you see from the Falcons and what you guys are going to have to face this week? Uh, everything. They got a great running back. They got a, a, a savvy veteran quarterback. They got great receivers and a great tight end. So, and a great offensive line, you know. So, you just got to go out there and be fundamental sound. Everybody one, you know. We can't have, like, everybody on, like, different pages. It's one, one, one because, you know, they, they're, they're a good team. If you watch film, they – most of their games, they have big plays all around. So you just got to go out there and be like fundamental sound with everybody on the, on the defense side of the ball. And keeping an eye on guys like Bijan and Algier. And and London, yeah, all that. Yeah. Did you talk to Jonathan Brooks for any like, insight on Bijan? No, nah, I haven't yet. I haven't yet. He, he was there with Bijan? I think he was there. Yeah, so that would be, I asked him, like, how can I, like, just say, hey, how can I play Bijan? Just, just go get insight on that. But you, now, leading a defense. As, as the, the green dot guy, mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's an awesome responsibility in itself, but you're, like I said, you're a third round pick this year. So, I mean, that's you're kind of thrown into the deep end and, and it, it seems like you're just, you're fine with the stride and the swim. Yeah, because like I tell everybody, it's part of the game, part of football, no matter if you're high school, college, or in the NFL, you know, next man up. You can't always be like, dang, you no know, hiding the shell. If the next man up, you gotta go out there and produce, like no steps back. Like that's how I always think of it. You know, you look at this week with the black helmet and the blue jersey and the, the fit. A lot of guys are rating it. Have you had a chance to think about what what it's going to look like? No, nah, I haven't. I really haven't. You know, but I, I feel like it's going to look nice. You know, I like black helmets. You know, because we had black helmets like a second. They look nice. But I, I, so I like anything with black going to look good regardless. Have you had a welcome to the NFL moment? JT told us about his. But have you had one? Welcome to the NFL moment. When you realized I'm here. Ah, uh, can I think of it? Like, has there been like a, like a oh, pick up? Like, nah, uh, not really. I haven't had it yet. But I can say, I feel like my welcome to the NFL moment, like, like last game was like, dang, I'm tired. Like, this really what the NFL, like, they going, they going, they going. And it's like, in college, you look at the sideline, somebody slipping you in. I was the green, I was like, oh, Lord, nobody come to get me. So I was tired. But, like, I haven't had one yet, but I know it's coming. Like, it's, it's going to happen. I know it's coming. And I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it to happen so I can talk about it. Like, oh, that would happen to me.